folks. Let me just take you to what is actually a complex data processing mean, which is a very, very important module of Spark. To make it very simple, complex data processing, complex data is nothing but a hierarchical data. Hierarchical data, right? We call it as a complex data. If you see what is hierarchical, Usually we use a lot of web pages, right? See, hierarchical means data inside a data. For example, HTML is a, if you see HTML, you'll see head, body, pre, then data will go inside and inside. If you check Zebron logins, I'll show you what is a basic example of this one, right? Now have a check, body inside it. It will go inside the hierarchical. Hierarchical means going inside, data inside a data. We call it as a hierarchical. Data is coming up. Similarly, we have JSON data also. Just showing you an example, right? Just showing as an example. JSON data is also a hierarchical data. Let me show you a JSON data which shows a hierarchical. See, data inside a data. This I call it as a complex data. Complex data is nothing but hierarchical data. Data inside the data. It's not a flat data. It's not a normal CSV data. It's a data inside a data. Right? We call that as hierarchical. The possible hierarchical data could be JSON, XML, and HTML. But HTML goes as a web pages. But predominant as a data engineers, these two matters a lot for us. What makes it high on hierarchical? Let me show you that. Okay. Now, let me create a file. It's a very normal file. Let me create one normal file, folks. All right. Have a check. In front of you, I'm creating a hierarchical data. Now I'm creating a hierarchy, have a check. This is a kind of a hierarchy I just created, right? I'm just validating it. Fine. This is a valid JSON. Right? This is one of the hierarchical data I just created. And another type of hierarchy, I mean, I'm just adding that hierarchy. Have a check. There's a lot of advantages with hierarchical data, which I have covered during the weekend session. Please watch it whenever you get some time. All right. Now that's it. This is our final data. This is our final data. Let me save it as a j.json. All right. j.json. That's it. This is my JSON hierarchical. Right. Now, let's read this data and see what Spark returns back. Well, df is equals to spark.read.format json.load. 
j dot json right df dot show df dot print schema always do the print schema for hierarchical data you'll understand this all right now have a check all right when the json is multi-line it is not a single line data it's a multi-line data always add a property option multi-line true now the data will be read it, it will show you a schema now see i'm also printing the schema hey print the schema it's a straightforward right organization name is zebron trainer is sai address is permanent address temporary address students are these two folks but i'm not sure what is this hierarchy mean let me show you the hierarchy and let's drill down the solution data frame might look funny see address is coming with both the address in a single cell students both the students in a single cell i cannot perform any sql operations on top of it it's a very 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 vast it's quite odd see the schema is also columns inside a column permanent address temporary address are inside address field right students is of one type organization trainer is straightforward in the code also organization and trainer is straightforward but address has some subfields student has some sub values now how many types of complexities we have types of complexity number one is multi-line number two is struct number three is array yes now i have to make this data a proper data frame now i don't want this schema to be like this data inside a data data frame like this i don't want to have it now how many types of complexities we have is multi-line if data comes into multi-line that we call it as a complex data for that we already enabled as true in the during the read itself the second type of complexity is struct see address is a struct the third type of complexity is complexity is array now how can i make this as a proper data frame is to handle the struct the solution is dot to handle array the solution is explored now have a check how can we work on processing this data is how can i make this data as a flattened structure is val flat df is equals to df dot select right now i want to handle this students column to handle the students column as an array what is a solution explored now explode this explored call of students i have to explode the column students because it is an array the solution of array is explored but always rename it when you perform any functions rename it the second one is address if it is a struct what is a solution dot what is the dot mean is right call of address dot permanent address call of address dot temporary address then other two columns are straightforward you need not to worry about that that's it this is a solution for handling complex jsons if the data is inside a data nested data you can use complex jsons flat df dot show flat df dot print schema you'll see a proper data frame now have a check right now all of you if it is an array column i have used explode if it is a struct column i am using dot and i'll get a proper data frame now i can perform any sqls as i like students is an array right one to many mapping will happen so for amit it will create one row ravi it will create one row if it is an array see flattened structure this we call it as complex data right hope this helps thank you folks